You know what's cool? A wall you can see from space. China, birthplace of kung fu. China, gunpowder, the compass, gambling. China, China, China! Chinese mother don't want their children to forget. They was Chinese. She put on a chi on some to foster cultural confidence in her children. She also requires that they communicate in Chinese at home. But the children are used to living in America. Can't speak Mandarin at all. All they know are curse words. So their mother enrolled them in Chinese classes. There are three new students in our class today. Answer every question in the second period. Write the answers on these worksheets. But this teacher looks like a weirdo. Eddie really dislikes him. He doesn't think Chinese people are like this. When they got home, mom also prepared a special treat for them. Boneless chicken feet. But the boys was shocked. The mother thought boneless chicken feet is the greatest invention of Chinese people because she likes to eat it. But the children saw the nails of the chicken claws but did not want to eat. It's not up to them. And that's when Lewis came back. He joined the white club as a member. But Jessica wanted him to cancel his membership. She thinks he can't hang out with white people every day. Otherwise, he would forget that he was a Chinese. But Lewis thought she was taking it too seriously. Our parents made sure we knew where we came from. We need to do the same thing for the boys. Lewis had no choice but to compromise. On this day, the school had a World Culture Day event. Each kid had to present a culture of a country. Eddie chose the country of Jamaica. When Jessica found out about it, she brought Eddie to the principal's office. She asked that Eddie's country be changed to China. The principal didn't dare to offend this Chinese lady. So he agreed. When he got home, Eddie was furious and asked his mom why she did it. He didn't think China was cool at all. Jessica said we have 5,000 years of culture in China. Everything is made in China. Anything you want. Eddie had no choice but to prepare a bottle of soy sauce and a picture of a panda because that's all he knew about China. The principal thought that Eddie didn't really know anything about China because China is a very great country. On the other hand, Louis took Jessica to the mall. He planned to open a western restaurant here, but he was rejected by Jessica. He didn't like the location full of white people and a series of fake Chinese restaurants. She preferred to open a restaurant with Chinese characteristics to let foreigners know about China. Success is important, but it is meaningless if we lose ourselves. Louis compromised again. But when Lewis returned home, he found Jessica secretly watching American TV shows. Lewis thought she was double standard. Jessica then spoke her mind. She was used to everything here. She was afraid that her children would be like her. So she kept telling them not to forget their roots. But she couldn't do it. Jessica, we are not losing our identity. And that's when Eddie came home in a rage, telling Jessica he must persist in promoting the Jamaica because he doesn't want to be isolated by his classmates anymore. Seeing Eddie's determination, Jessica also had to come from soon after the school's World Culture Day activity started. Eddie talked to his classmates about he was glad that he could not choose China. He also said that China was not cool at all. When the students heard that, they also made fun of China. China just has like pandas. And what's cool about pandas? They're all like, hur, 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 hur. <laughs> it made everyone laugh. Eddie finally couldn't help himself. He said China is funny to you guys. Just then, Eddie's family came to school, ready to cheer their son on. They saw Eddie defending his country. I'm Chinese, Trent. North cool. a wall you can see from space. China. When parents heard this, they were relieved. After the cultural awareness contest, Eddie got the lowest score. But Jessica wasn't mad when she saw the score. Eddie said he spent a lot of time to explain Chinese culture to his classmates. He didn't have the heart to show the Jamaica. He thought Jessica would lecture him. Instead, Jessica posts his report card. Jessica's influence. The other two kids are also into Chinese elements. Just when Eddie was proud to be Chinese, this new classmate came to Eddie's school and made him fall head over heels. There's this amazing girl at school. Eddie took one look at her and fell in love with her. So he goes home and asks his father for advice on how to pick up girls. After Lewis heard his son's description, he thought that Nicole must have many suitors. His son would not be able to get her, but in order not to lose his confidence, he still taught his son some skills. For example, he should have a thick skin, look for any opportunity to be alone together. Then Eddie went to school to look for help from his classmates. And that's how a group of bachelor are telling another single to pick up girls. Eddie was listening to them with great interest. At that moment, the teacher came into the classroom with Nicole in an aggressive manner. 
Miko was dressed fashionably and was kept in class by the teacher. Eddie wanted to be alone with her. During the class, he raised his hand on purpose and said a swear word. Not surprisingly, after school he got detention too. Eddie pretended to be arrogant and talked to Nicole. Nicole didn't pay attention to him. She just turned around and left. He didn't get the girl and got into trouble. When he got home, Eddie asked Louis for advice again. Louis said since she was sitting next to you, you should talk about the things she likes. That way you'll have a better chance of success. Instead of pretending to be cool, Eddie asked if that's what you do with the mom. Not right away, we develop our shared interests over about nine months. You. So, Eddie deliberately stayed after class to curry favor with her. She said she didn't like it here. She wants to go to a beauty school. He replied that you are already beautiful and don't need to learn. But Nicole said I wanted to make other people beautiful too. Awesome! I love that stuff too! She should come over sometime after school. I guess. After school, he came to Nicole's house. Nicole used him as a guinea pig for practice. She even got his earrings pierced. After the styling, Eddie met his classmates on the way. They heard that oh, Neil was here for an event. They wanted Eddie to go with them to get his autograph. Just then, Nicole came out. She took out all kinds of nail dyes. Wanted to practice with Eddie again. To impress Nicole, Eddie gave up the opportunity to meet his idol. He chose to stay with Nicole. When he got home, Jessica saw that Eddie had wrapped himself up tightly. She knew Eddie was being naughty again. And you? Eddie! I take my eye off you for five minutes and you do this? Eddie had to tell the whole truth. He doesn't like makeup. All he did was for Nicole. And he missed the chance to get oh, Neil's autograph. He decided she was going to give up on Nicole. Jessica said, I am not quitting. And you are not either. Just be yourself. If that's not good enough, that's not the girl for you. Eddie's heart had an answer too. The next day Eddie found Nicole. He decided to confess everything to Nicole. Honestly, I'm not really into any of that beauty stuff. When he got home, Eddie's parents gave Eddie a pair of shoes signed by O'Neill. And unbeknownst to Eddie, his parents went to great lengths to get him O'Neill's autograph. They bought a car at all costs, dragged O'Neill's hand to get it. Do not look at Eddie's parents are very generous, it's actually very stingy. Mother is very careful with every penny. In order to save electricity for air conditioning, she will take the children to the supermarket. Even if Eddie wanted pocket money, Louis will also ask him to work to earn money.